You already finished the documents? Well, I'll leave it to you, huh? You're the best. What do you say we take a break for a while? I think you've more than earned a fancy dinner. My treat, of course. Don't worry. I asked my mother if she'd watch Jolene so we could go out. It's all taken care of. Good. Let's go. Not as many idiots here as usual, which is nice. You even got a table by the window. <sighs> I feel like... I should tell you about it. My trip to Egypt with Gramps. There's... A lot you should probably know. I've been debating with myself for years now how or even if I should tell you. Of course, I don't want to keep things from you, but... This one's... Well, there's a safety concern. Because the more you know, the more involved you are. I'm still not certain I should be doing this, but... As my spouse, you deserve to know. This is gonna sound really unbelievable. But I want to preface this by saying everything I'm about to tell you is 100% truth. Gramps can even back me up on it. It goes back to Gramps' Gramps, my great-great-grandfather Jonathan Joestar. His adoptive brother Dio Brando stole an ancient stone mask Jonathan was researching as an archaeology project. Turns out, the mask had a supernatural power, and it turned Dio into what I can only describe as a vampire. As fictional as that sounds. Jonathan decisively defeated Dio, giving his life in the process, but Dio severed his head and took his body, taking refuge in a coffin at the bottom of the ocean for a century. Should I keep going? Alright, just wanted to make sure I haven't lost you yet. When Dio was released from his hibernation, an old hag named Inyaba stabbed him with a supernatural arrow, granting him the power of a stand. Remember all those times it seemed like I did something impossible? Too fast of a reaction time for a human being? The ability to lift something that no human being should be able to lift. Yeah, that was the power of my stand. Star Platinum. Since Dio had Jonathan's body when he was stabbed with the stand arrow, we descendants of Jonathan had stands awakened in us, including my mother Holly, who was too weak to withstand her stand. No pun intended. That's why Gramps and I went to Egypt. Only by killing Dio and avenging Jonathan could Gramps and I save my mother's life. Otherwise, her stand would kill her. Long story short, thanks to Gramps and some really great friends that we made along the way who... didn't make the last train home, I killed Dio, and my mother survived because her stand went dormant. Yeah, that photograph was them. Kakyoui Noriaki. Muhammad Avdol, Iggy, Jean-Pierre Polnareff. Only Polnareff survived. Heck, Gramps almost died himself. So that's what happened on that trip to Egypt. Well, the condensed version at any rate. Probably sound like some kind of madman, don't I? There's a whole lot more to this story, but I feel like I should probably leave it at that. Well, do you believe me? <laughs> <laughs>